Let's now turn to the aviation sector. In the past months, the sector has been faced with a rise in the price of Jet A1. As a result of this, some airlines have announced plans to short operations. The passengers have been greatly affected by this recent development, as the cost of tickets is now double the amount it used to be. Joining us now via Zoom to walk us through the situation is an aviation analyst, Chuks Iwelumo. Good to have you join us. Uh, Mr. Good Chuks, afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, but let me ask you because at some point the, the price was about 400 and 450 thereabout, and we saw an increase to about 600, um, six, over six, just a little over 600. And now we understand that it is about 930 naira. The, the um, National Assembly has wa had waded into the issue. I one thought that this would be resolved or there would be um, some, level of, um, some level of respite for the aviation sector. Talk to us about how this is playing out in terms of the operational cost of the sector. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Uh, you said the National Assembly has waded into it. What have they done? Where have they been for, 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 for all this, uh, these years? These people have been complaining about the way they have been running their businesses for so many years, and nobody listened to them. Now that the issue has escalated beyond everybody, they are now coming up to say they are ready to help them. For example, Jet A1 Aviation Fair was about 200 and uh, something a few years ago, it rose to 400, 600, 680, up to this um, present, they're going to almost 1,000 naira per liter for aviation fare, and they are crying. The running cost of the airline, airlines are not having it easy. I, 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 I tell you, they are not making profits. I'm not holding brief for them, but we're all in the system. Everybody today is suffering from what is happening in the aviation industry. It's a source of concern to all of us. Mm -hmm. First of all, there is no refinery that is working for our normal fare let alone aviation fair. These people have been crying out. I know the professionals that have been crying out in this country. Let us have a refinery dedicated to the refining of aviation fuel in this country. But nobody listen. We go out, you see, taking our air aircraft abroad, fueling their aircraft before they go. There was a time they were going to Malabo to fuel their aircraft before they come back to Nigeria to operate a domestic flight. Is it reasonable? A place where we have government. What is the government supposed to do? For example, we have refineries that are not working. How much will it cost these people to put these refineries to work? How much is aviation fare? What is the difference between the, 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 the kerosene we use and the aviation fare, that A1? Just a very little difference that we can refine. Today, aviation fare is going higher. The domestic kerosene we use is going higher Absolutely. because of the government has failed on its responsibilities mm. to assist the public. But now, let, me, let, let me ask you, because you, you mentioned, sorry to jump in, um, you, you mentioned yeah. that the government has failed to, uh, um, uh, to um, assist the public. And really, yeah. the aviation sector is a customer-driven sector. It depends on yeah. uh, patronage from customers for it to function. And customers are having to bear the brunt of this. But I also want to look at the sector itself. Um, it is a sector that is just recovering from the from the COVID-19 uh, COVID crisis, and we saw yes. how, how that yes. impacted heavily on the sector. Yeah, Talk to us about exactly. how the impact that this could have more on that sector. Are we likely to see bankruptcy or a collapse if nothing is done about the aviation field? If nothing is done, nothing tangible is done concerning aviation fair. I'm not talking about the forest now. Concerning aviation fair in this country we are going to have it bad than what we are having now. Because most of the airlines depend on this to fly. You see cancellation of flights is not because of the forest. Delay of passengers mm. is not because of forest. How do I, as, a, as an operator, get fear, aviation fear to fear my aircraft? That is the major concern. If we have aviation fear, I tell you, those aircraft on ground will fly. It has, it is, it's becoming very difficult now to get aviation fuel to fly this aircraft. Mm. We are not talking of the, taking your aircraft abroad to, 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 to service, which is costing millions of, of, of dollars outside here. 
And these, these are not done in, in, in Nigeria. They are not done in the country. They take them, they take them across the shores, mm. and they come back with huge uh, uh, expenditure. So this is actually affecting their operation. Almost 70 percent or so goes for fair. And at the end of the day, you think because there are crowd at the airport, these guys are making huge profits. After removing that their uh, fair their their fair uh, charges. They remove their landing. They remove their, all the taxes. You see that these uh, preachers go home with little or nothing. But this is an, it, 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 it belongs to the airlines. Today, because of insecurity on, uh, all over the country, nobody travels by road. It, it's funny. Sometimes I look at the social media. They say, travel by road and pay 100 million ransom. It's not funny. We have government. And you see the way they criticize you and you close their eyes to all these uh, sad experiences people are having over uh, all, all over the roads. So uh, people are now moving towards the vision. At the time, nobody was traveling by road. You will see the passenger surge at the airport. Why? Not because they have the money, but because of and insecurity. Just, on the road. Um, just for their, for their safety. And you know, oh, the federal that's government that's is also looking to launch its own um, the national carrier. I will see how um, this plays out in terms of government's ability to. My resolve, sister, how long is resolve, the national carrier going to be on the pipeline? Re For how long? This I wish we could is talk more. Going to... I wish we could talk more. I, I said that just to see how the government reacts to the, the, the hope, Jet A1 crisis. I, I hope. I hope because within six months, in the next six months, the government is gone. And let All us right. see what is going to happen. I, right, but I, I have to, I have to let you it, go. It took I'm them sorry. how many years in government? Almost eight, more, almost eight years in government. And they are going to launch the national career at four months to go. Where, where, Mr. Where Iwoluma, are, I wish we have more time to, to talk about this. Um, but we'll continue Thank to see you. how Thank the... Thank you very much. We're going to see how the, the aviation sector continues to thrive in, the, in this crisis. Thank you so much for talking to us. Aviation analyst, Tuxu Wilumo.